The compact and portable camera will become your life partner. Let's just absorb that for a second, okay? <laughs> Say, honey, uh, I've got some news for you. <laughs> and it'll be a good camera too. Well, that's nice. But, you know, and more importantly than this camera becoming your life partner. <laughs> it's so bad that I would think something is wrong with this thing. And maybe there is, I don't know. Welcome to the Philip Cochran Channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It really helps this channel grow. It really helps me bring you these great videos that we all love. So what do we have today? We've got a little action cam shootout for you. Everybody's kind of familiar with this style. Been around for a long time now. This is kind of a newer style, if you will, more of a vertical format. They both have little screens on them. They both say they're 4K, but there's a huge price difference here. But these are both, you know, available on the market right now. So you could be at the same decision-making point that I am. So this one was, I think, 30-ish dollars, and this one was about 130-ish dollars. So let's open them up see the differences between the two. We'll take a little video and some pictures of the two and put that in at the end. Um, and then you guys can make up your own choice whether or not you think it's uh, worth the call. So let's jump into today's video. Well, I thought I might have ordered two of each of these, but only one arrived and that's what I paid for. So that's okay. And I want to do a comparison because I really want to have four cameras all the same. So if this one works out great, then I'll buy a couple more of these. And if this one is, is that much better, then I'll buy a couple more of these, right? So um, I did already have an action cam. Here it is here, this compact one. Um, it worked fine for several days. I was, I just got it. I did, I've never had an action cam before. It came in a great package. It uh, had good reviews. Um, the accessory uh, kit is awesome. It's a hard shell case. It has a remote, uh, extra battery to it, uh, all kinds. Um, so I started doing like a couple of testing as I was uh, making some YouTube videos and seeing how I could, you know, incorporate it and stuff. Um, everything went fine, but I couldn't get the files to uh, um, upload properly in the iMovie to incorporate them into my videos. I could watch them, but I couldn't get them to edit properly and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, it's just a glitch or something, right? And they recommended a firmware update. Well, when I did the firmware update, it screwed up the camera, like in totally, like the sensor or something with it. Didn't break it, it made it somehow operational. So the camera all still works, the touch screen, everything still works, functions properly, but the image from the sensor is like all weird and pixelated. And nobody else out there seems to have a link to the version of the old software that I can flash back, or actually I did find one, but it, it didn't work. Um, somebody out there, there's probably five or six cameras that are exactly the same as this, or just have different names on them, that their software would probably fix this camera, like an old version of their software, but I haven't found it yet, and other people that have bought this Campac X20 uh, um, have been looking for it too for a couple of years and nobody seems to find it so it ended up being kind of a dead duck like you know I can't use the camera even though there's nothing wrong with it so that's a shame but I still kept it because hopefully one day it, we can get that software for it and get it fixed um, in the meantime they still got all the accessories that I can use with uh, other things and now we have this camera here but hopefully hopefully this one works okay I am not going to update any firmware anymore on these cameras <laughs> i've learned my lesson uh on that because it's a it's a shame that this one's not working um so hopefully this one does let's get it out of the box and uh and check them both out so why are we unboxing 30 dollar action cams when you have like 700 dollar jets behind you that we're waiting to see well you know that's kind of how it is here folks i mean you know and then there's this too look at this look at it um, well, the reason that is, is because, well, that's the order I want to do it in. <laughs> I did have kind of a plan, you know, of what I was thinking of how I would do things and stuff as I started making videos about a month back, making videos about a month ago. Um, but then that kind of expanded and I wanted to just do really as many videos as I kind of could reasonably. 
Um, don't worry, all the planes and all this cool stuff are still coming. I'm not trying to drag it out. I'm trying to just, uh, um, I'm doing it at my pace. So, I'm, you know, the reason why we did the gimbal on the last video is because it just came in and I want to use that to film those unboxing videos of those planes to make them awesome for you guys. And that's the reason why we're doing action cams today because they just came in and I want to start using these as soon as I can and to make these videos even better for you guys. So that's why we're unboxing these things today and uh, who knows what tomorrow will bring, right? Well, I know what tomorrow will bring, but you don't. All right, so this is about as budget packaging as I as you could get. I think you've probably all seen these. And I think this exact box here was probably sitting on the shelf somewhere at $199. And then it was $99. And then it was $79. And then it got shipped back to the actual distribution center. They said, ah, we can't sell this thing. So then they sold it to me for still twice the price that they paid for it. And I got it for... I don't know, $32 or something like that, right? So I think it was on sale, right? But, you know, there's so many of these around. But it, it looked actually form factor-wise exactly the same as this, as many do. Like, you'll see it's got the two buttons on the side, one on the top, one on the front, this type of display. Um, and, uh, uh, oh, these connection ports, too, are exactly the same, like, layout on there. So there you go. Got some lens covers. So, our comparison here looks like the actual lens is like physically a little bit smaller on this one. I don't know if this had Wi Fi in it or not. I think it did. There you go. In. So it's not as nice of a body. This is not, it's not metal on this one, but it's a little bit nicer feel and finish. This one feels a little bit cheaper just because it feels like cheaper plastic around the housing. Oh, that's the... oh so it's got no tripod mount on it. Well, that's kind of huge, isn't it? I guess you can clamp it to one of these other bits or something and use a tripod mount, but that's kind of a, a big deal, isn't it? Ready? Yeah. Upling. Just let me get something to pull that uh, off. Sir. These are handy dandy Twizzlers coming. Handy dandy again. There you go. See your picture. Here's a certain SD card. Yeah, I got one here sitting here handy. I thought I did. Hold on a second. There you go. I don't know which way it goes in. It's hard to see looking through the camera. That feels right. Yep. It's recording. Seems easy enough. I'll show you these clips after what it's doing. So I'll record a couple other clips and uh, stuff and we'll do take out some of the better ones as comparison. It looks like it's got a full charge in it. That's good. I'm pretty sure the battery is exactly the same for this as the other camera, so that's good. Let's stop that. And button on the front here. So it's got no front display on the other one, like or like that other one does. Well, there's our video there. That plays it. So this seems pretty intuitive to use, I would say. Mm -hmm. There's our menu. It's not showing as good on the up on the camera as I can see it here on the screen. And maybe you can change the brightness of this little screen on here. But it, it looks better to me than it does to you guys. But it's not the greatest screen, that's for sure. Is it better? No, I think you can see that a bit better. There you go. You got your uh, you're navigating the buttons on the up and bottom. 
capture mode, enter, change things, pack. So it's very easy to use. You know, um, I don't know if this uh, remote from the other one, we should try that. Uh, let's go back out. I've never opened this, so it's supposed to have a battery put in it or not. I mean, this one didn't include a remote in it, so I don't know if it works uh, with a remote. And we'd have to check the Wi-Fi thing, uh, too. But other than that, I would say, you know, plus plus. Uh, you know, if anything is intuitive out of the box, that's good with me. You've got, you know, a modest amount of accessories here. It's a sticky mount. Looks like that would be a, you know, handlebar or something for rounds. Another pinch mount, cable, charge it. Um, that's about it. So there you go. $32. That's what you get. I'll, I'll, when I uh, put the video up and uh, I'll take some still pictures that it can do too, um, I'll label them which one is which. Maybe it's going to be obvious. I don't know. I kind of lost the part where I was undoing the box and pulling it out. <laughs> I, the phone rang and something happened and sorry about that, right? But, you know, I mean, so imagine me opening this box and pulling out these pieces. The camera was already inside the case. So I turned it on. And uh, I was like, wow, this is really cool. So this is 10 times the camera. This is, uh, it's all metal construction and stuff like that. Um, make sure it's off again. Uh, so there's your little uh, door for your SD card. Charging port. So you can kind of see the, it's all metal, nice construction like a proper quality camera would be really nicely made so we turn it on in the front hold long press make a little Sony noise it's a little small screen but you can see it there I believe you, so you just, just press into different modes. You've got Zoom, Wi-Fi, see it's trying to connect. There's the files. So you're just navigating with the up and down. They either take a short press or a long press and like enter in and out with the on off button, short or long press. Pretty intuitive, There's your menu, enter. I think you guys can see that. To resolution, loop recording, dash cam. It's got a, a facial recognition like recording, gyro sensor. So that was one of the great features of this. Sorry, I didn't show you the details of the box. But it's got several fancy features on it. It's got a gyroscope. It's got five times zoom. This is kind of funny when I read this. The compact and portable camera will become your life partner. Let's just absorb that for a second, okay? <laughs> Say, honey, uh, I've got some news for you. <laughs> and it'll be a good camera, too. Well, that's nice. But, you know, and more importantly than this camera becoming your life partner. <laughs> yeah, some weird stuff. So it's got, um, there's some of the things there, 4K. 1080p, 16 megapixel. It's a sensor. Six axis gyro stabilization. So that's kind of new. I don't think other action cameras have that. And then it's uh, five times uh, zoom on it too, um, right from the camera. So uh, I think that was the selling features, a bonus that I wanted to try out on that. Smaller, clearer, more stable. 
So that's about it. You know, I'll take some footage and stuff, some video and pictures of this one. And we'll put that up at the end of the video and you guys can see. I think I already have decided that this is a much, much nicer camera. Um, and I would imagine I have a better image quality. But sometimes these cheaper ones can surprise you too. Um... And as far as lightness goes, this camera, with the battery in it already, this has got a built-in battery, so that's kind of a disadvantage. This has got a removable one. Um, but this camera with the battery in it, like, it's light. Like, it's, I don't know, an ounce or something? And this one's five times the weight. It's very heavy compared to this. Now, this, it feels like you could drive over with a truck, okay? And it would be fine. This, it feels like if I dropped it on this table, it might break. So... You know, um, big difference between the two, that's for sure. So, that's our show for now. Here's the video and picture comparisons, and um, we'll roll you out on that. Okay, we're back, and I've got good news and bad news. What you're seeing right now is the images being displayed on my monitor that I'm filming with the camera. It's coming off my PC because they don't want to be recognized by the Mac or the iPhone. So if I take the S micro SD card out of the cameras and put them directly into the iMac or iPhone, it doesn't see anything at all. But they are recognized immediately by Windows PC. Second good news is the SJ cam. This is the image quality that you're looking at it on the still shot is very good. The color, contrast, sharpness, detail, all those things are very good. I'm actually impressed with the picture quality and stuff. I just took some random shots quickly to try a few things out. There's a couple of the zoom settings. When you click one setting on the zoom, what it will do. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. Here's the video that I shot of it here, blown up on full screen of this. So this is pretty big. You know, I haven't adjusted any lighting or anything like that, but it looks, again, very true to life as far as the colors go. The sharpness and detail looks a little bit better than what you're seeing because of how I'm filming this. And then there's the bad news. <laughs> so let me just pause this here. I'll go back to an image. Okay. Its construction is awesome. It's metal. It's got audio issues. The picture quality is very, very good. The interface is pretty easy to use once you do it once or twice. Um, many pluses to this other than that file format issue. So if I can find a simple way to do a conversion or something like that, that could solve that. Uh, the bad news, this thing here. Uh, I would say that the lens is damaged or it hasn't been put in the fo proper focal point or something like that because the image I'm not even going to show you it's so bad it's just so bad it looks like 140p maybe 240 at best on this thing um the video is the same I thought when I was filming it and taking the pictures that the, well it's just the screen on the back of here that's just really terrible um, and then when I looked at the images and stuff, they're just horrific. So it's so bad that I would think something is wrong with this thing. And maybe there is, I don't know, but I'm not going to waste any more time on it. It's junk, right? So this SJ cam is nice. I would recommend it. Um, so one win, I guess. That's our show for today, folks. I hope you got something out of it. I know I sure did. Love and peace from Canada, and we are YouTube.